Electricity, a deadly killer, or the world's greatest discovery? Whatever your opinion, there's no arguing that it changed our lives and homes forever. From the light bulb that lights up your living room in a blink of an eye, to the PlayStation that you used to keep screaming at that kid who keeps killing you in your favorite video game. I don't know. No! But where does it all come from? Who mm -hmm. And how is electricity actually even made? Join me, Mr. Bradley, as we go on a shocking journey of discovery to find out where electricity comes from. Hello boys and girls, it's me, Mr. Bradley, and today we are following the journey of electricity from its source to our homes. Before we begin, please pause the video and do the starter questions that I'm about to show you right now. Okay, the first part of the process begins here at the power station. Here, electricity is made by humongous generators. The way this works is a thing called a turbine spins around and around. The turbine is attached to a thing called a generator, which turns this moving energy into electrical energy. But how do we keep the turbines spinning round and round? By burning coal, oil or gas, we can heat water which then turns to steam. This high pressure steam is what turns the turbine round and round. Another way is use wind. Like this wind turbine standing behind me right now. Or we can use water to turn around the turbine. This hydroelectric power plant uses water from the dam to turn a turbine round and round. Now that the electricity has been generated, it's time for it to go through a transformer. Autobots, roll out! We roll! <laughs> no, not that kind of a transformer. A transformer is something that increases or decreases the voltage. In this case, it's increasing the voltage to push that electric power all the way around the country to your homes. Once the transformer has increased that voltage to push it all the way around the country, they travel down these transmission lines. Now these are super high voltage. I don't recommend touching them. Um, you can see them right above my head, these big wires. They'll normally be on top of these humongous metal pylons like the one right behind me here. This is like the motorway for electricity. The voltage is way too high to go into our houses. It might blow everything up. Just like when we're traveling down the road, we're going way too fast on the motorway to go straight into our driveways. We first of all have to slow down our cars. We first of all have to turn down the voltage. Once the electricity has traveled down the high voltage transmission lines, it enters a substation where the voltage is now reduced. After this, the electricity will travel down wires like these towards your neighborhood. When the electricity has reached your neighborhood, a small metal transformer on top of the post like this one will reduce the voltage even more to make it safe for your home. Sometimes these transformers can be found on the ground outside your home. And then it travels into a service panel just like this one here. From there, it travels through the walls to switches and outlets all around your home. And so our journey of electricity has come to an end. Please give this video a like and subscribe to my channel for more interesting cool videos like this. Please boys and girls and teachers give me some feedback. Uh, if there's something that you learned in this video and enjoyed please let me know. If there's something that you'd like to learn more about electricity in my future videos please comment them in the section below. Thanks for watching. See you next time.